Hi guys and uh, welcome back to another edition of TCW TV. I'm very excited today, uh, we're down in Skipton, we're at the Land Rover Test Centre and we're going to be test driving the Land Rover Defender off-road. I do have a confession, even though I've owned a Defender before, I've embarrassingly never actually taken it off-road. Uh, so it'll be a good experience for me today, it's something new, I've never done it before and I can't wait to get out there and give it a go. Bit of, bit of gas. <laughs> Oh, I can see his sky. So we're just about to go into the, what looks like a swamp, but I think they're called, the official term is mud ruts. Um, so we're gonna go in mud ruts setting um, and let's see what happens. Let's see if I come out the other side. I just wanted to say, as we're driving around now, I've just spotted um, Deli's car as she went around the corner and the profile of the car is just sat so high. These, this air suspension um, can just totally change the car. One minute it can be low, and obviously we've had this for years, air suspension. Um, but to the look of it and the way, obviously you can see how it can get through all these um, obstacles so easy. Um, it's it's all well, it's all down to the magic of the electronics, but that air suspension is just it it just raises it so much. It's like the car's on stilts. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting on these uh, these higher hills now and see what the car can actually do. It's funny, after, after test driving this 110 now, I am considering whether the 90 is the right choice. Um, this is being, and I'm sure there's no difference in the off-road capabilities, uh, but this 110 has been very good. Um, I like the space, to be honest, as well. I like the fact that it is a little bit bigger. I know it's not the iconic, no, oh, sorry, here's Bob again. Let's see what let's see what Bob's got to say. Cheers, Bob. So yeah, so I am a bit confused, really. Um, I like the look of the 110. Obviously, the reason why I was going for the 90 was because it's it's an iconic for me. It's the iconic Land Rover Defender, um, and I love the look of it. But then I'm looking at these now. I'm looking at Adele's car in front in the in the black. Uh, it looks stunning. Oh. Just it. Sorry, Bob's talking again. Got to look out for these rocks. Oh, there is a big rock there actually. Uh, round here. Yeah, so I'm open. I'm open. I'm going to speak to the guys when we get back. Um, I know we've got 90 on. You guys let me know what you think. If you think we should get the 90 or the 110. Um, I probably am still pushing towards 90, but this has definitely opened my eyes a little bit because um, they look good. Oh, that's the. The hill descent, I don't know if you can tell, but we're actually going down a steep hill there. If anybody wants to do a drive, Bob's back. Uh... Yeah, so open to let me know what you think. Um, 90 or the 110. Oh, Bob keeps interrupting. Yeah, Cheers, Bob. Yeah, so let me know what you think. So we're about to hit some of the deeper stuff. We've got the camera on the front. Deli's just made it through. Let's see how we get on. I don't think it's so deep. It is a weird sensation, like I said. It does feel like you're floating. Um, I think a large part of that is the fact that you don't feel um, 
the car's doing everything for you. So you don't feel that in that much control. So I think that's the reason why you've got that floating sensation. But do you know what? If, I t if you turn the wheels, it moves. Um, and it's spectacular how it can get through this. And I think we're gonna hit some, uh, I think James is gonna tell us that we're gonna need to go up one of these rock climbs in a minute. Uh, okay, so we're heading up the slippery rock crawl here. Oh, uh, wow. Steady speed. Look at this. I think the camera's probably gonna go on this one, but we'll give it a go. See if we can keep it steady or not. Okay, nice dead straight wheels for me now. Yeah. And I pull it round to the left. Wow, that is pretty special. Okay, so defender. That's ridiculous. So Bob's just told us that uh, we're off to find some proper hills. Uh, we've, like I said, we've just done, let's do a recap. We've done the uh, Rock Hill Descent, um, which was easy peasy. We've done the uh, Mud Ruts. Again, easy peasy. You know what the, the trend's gonna be here. It's gonna be easy peasy, easy peasy. Uh, we've, good guys. Oh, there's well, Bob again. Let's see what he's got to say. Legend. Know, okay. Don't know what Bob said then, you probably heard better than me. Um, but yeah, easy peasy. Uh, we've just done the wading. That is a weird sensation. That is like you're floating um, in the water, but you're moving forward. And then we came out of the water and we went up a hill descent. Uh, I can't remember what percentage said he was now, but it was pretty amazing the way it came out of the water and then up sl uh, slippery rocks and made it out as well. So it's been pretty good. Um, Bob's just told us, um, that we're off to find some bigger hills now so let's go and see uh what he can throw at us and let's see what these guys can well these guys uh, what see what these defenders can actually do so this next one uh looks like a hill descent again but watch the cock the back wheel cock on this Let's see if we can capture Adele cocking her back leg. I don't mean that in a in a funny way. Watch this, it's pretty special. If she does it fully. Here we go. It does look amazing in that colour as well, in the black. Here we go. Let's see if the back wheel comes up. I don't know if you can see that. Is it gonna come up? Oh, jeez. I think she's just cacked herself. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. That is amazing. That was unbelievable. Cocks its leg well, doesn't it? Well, nicely done. I was just saying to the young lady there, the best one to do it in. Yeah. The book. Oh, is it? The book, because it's small. Yeah. It's not got the air suspension. Yeah. Get your back wheel about it's this way. Wow. Next time we do one of these off-road um, invitations or experience days, I've got to remember, I've got to bring more suckers. <laughs> I'm trying to balance cameras everywhere and we're going up hills, down rocks, in lakes. Um, and I apologize if the footage isn't great because um, the camera's been falling all over the place. Or if it's not been falling all over the place, I've been trying to grab it while I'm trying to talk to you guys here. So schoolboy error, I'm getting better at this YouTube stuff. Um, but I do need to make sure I've got um, the correct equipment and more suckers, etc. Et do you know what would have been great? It would have been great having a sucker on the outside of the car as well and just see how it's going through all these obstacles and get more of a, um, more of a profile of it. Okay, so I promise you next time I'll have more suckers and a better equipment. Thank you. Here we go again. It's on its nose. It's slipping. <laughs> it's sliding. Oh, it's great. How it does this, I don't know. 
I need to get my dad on this, he'd love this. That's amazing. And again, I don't know if you can see the angle that we're at, probably not, um, but that's ridiculous. I actually think Delhi's sold on this as well. So I think we might have the answer to our 110 or 90. It could be a, a situation of having a 110 and a 90. Um, let's see what got, happens after this. got to say these guys really looked after us today um, we've got Bob I don't know if his name's Bob it sounds really bad but I forgot his name from the beginning um, but he's uh, he's been a great host he's looked after us he keeps coming telling us what to do tell you what honestly hospitality at Lam Rover has always been amazing whether I had the Defender or a Range Rover it's always been pretty special and these guys have always looked after us we've we've paid nothing for this day today um, they just invited us down and said come and have a look at it and I know obviously the end result is they're looking for you to buy a car and we are going to buy a car um, but it's it is special and they make you feel special and they look after you as well so uh, well done Land Rover once again you've pulled it off So we've just had some updates from Land Rover, uh, they are officially going to be releasing the Defender 90 today, uh, which we have been waiting for for a while. Um, things have been delayed due to the COVID-19 outbreak, um, obviously not being able to get parts from different countries, etc, etc. Um, providing that there's no more lockdowns, uh, people should be able to make delivery of that car in early spring 2021, which would be great and we've been waiting for that for a long time. The other variant that they've done is they've brought in some new engine ranges. So one that's most exciting for me is the plug-in hybrid. I've been waiting for this for ages to see what the stats are, etc., etc. That's going to be a two-litre turbocharged engine, um, which is going to be putting out 404 horsepower, uh, which be able to deliver a not 60 time of 5.4 seconds. And in a big truck like this, an off-road truck, that's amazing. Um, for me, the idea that you could have a the luxuries of a modern car and the comfort of a modern car tied in with the off-road capability of Land Rover and then throw in the idea that you could have an economical one. Um, they're saying that it will do 80 miles to the gallon, um, which when you think again in a big truck, that's pretty special. And to me, it's, it's, it's sounding more and more like the all-round vehicle. Unfortunately, that's not going to be available in the 90 yet. Um, I believe that is coming. So they're going to be releasing the plug-in hybrid on the 110 to start off with, and they're going to release it into the other ranges. Uh, the other one they're going to be announcing is the um, the hardtop. That is the the version. That is the commercial uh, version. So you're going to have the um, the back of the seats going to be taken out. It's going to be a cabin in the back, and that's going to be for commercial purposes. Um, again, this is something I've been excited about because. I wanted to see what specs that was going to come out with. Um, I know that the um, the specs are the specs are quite limited at the moment, so I think there's only one one engine you can get that in. Um, but when you tie that in with the uh, the fact it's VAT qualifying, a few guys that are running businesses, a few guys that can use it commercially, there's going to be a big saving on an amazing car. Um, again, that's going to be released in spring 2021, and I can't can't wait to go and see that. And in fact, we just got an invitation to um, a little sneak peek next week. Um, to go and see the hard top and go and see the new 90 um, and get a real feel for it. Um, so again, keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you like and subscribe and see us down there checking out the new hard top and the new 90. And what a, I've got to say, what an amazing day today. Land Rover have been um, amazing. Hospitality is always great. Um, so thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.